wow go on everybody today is the end of bird bush we are at our island pretty much it's a place surrounded by a river and we're going to cook <laughs> This is like a hunter's potluck. Most people bring what they're cooking and most of the stuff that's going to be cooked is what they hunt. So it's going to be fresh food that was just straight from the last day of the shoot and all other things of course and straight to the grill, straight to the pot, straight to the fire. It's just going to be an epic cookout. There'll be places, there'll be different stations where people cooking different things and it'll be a variety of wild game food and other foods as well. How was the shoot, Uncle Roman? It was wonderful. We didn't get a lot of birds today, but the, the fun outing that we had was we had a, I exceptional. Had a blast. Exceptional. We each got a few birds and it worked out fun. Excellent you know? times. Thank you, yeah, Uncle Roman. You're Much most welcome, always. Matthew, anytime. Yeah, man. Food time now. Food time. I'm going to borrow the grill because it turns out the grill. Can you have them there now? Yeah, because yeah, I'm going to split them and season them up now. Where are you going to do them? These? Yeah. Um, some of these are going to be fried and some going on the grill. This is white wing and paloma. I mean, I'm going to do a stew after. Nice I'm going to do a stew ball after. Different. But the white wing and the paloma, them, we're doing on the grill and in the frying pan. Michael. Yeah. 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 You're not serious, Bori. You're not serious. You're not serious. All right. So splitting the doves like that allows the seasoning to get into the stomach so you can get the seasoning right under there. Add more flavor to the meat as well. But it also allows it to be shared a lot more. They're very small and it's a prized meat. So you want everybody to get a taste. You can't give a whole one to everybody. It's not in that good of a season to give a whole one to everybody and that allows it to share a lot more with everybody. You might go right back in. I'm not getting away. <laughs> What's up, Yo, Straton? Let me tell you something. Watch out, war now. You cheat the friends, man. That's cool, man. I have business to see. Make your hands up, fool. 
Yeah, in the car. When in the car. Hey, yeah. drive the car. I didn't feel like Where is that? Send the vehicle here. I need a little bit of cigarettes. But you know, you know the gist. Yeah. Let me tell you something. This is my, my, what we call him now, cousin, brother, everything you know. Right? Am I correct, Raman? Yes. He is the number so. one hunter in this end of Jamaica. Man, and he's the second best chef. <laughs> because a the, the, the type of chef he is, he does the work. The type of chef I am, I test the work that he does. <laughs> What's I about test the shooting? What's I, about the shooting? Listen, I just tell you already, he's one of the best, he's the best hunter we have in bad this man, end of Jamaica. And I tell you, I test the food that he cooks. Anytime he cook the food and it's ready, he says, try to come over here and taste it. And the taste. The real chef will make the whole of money, you know, feed and no dirt up, you know. Mm -mm. Oh, remember that. <laughs> remember that low house. <laughs> 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 Looking good. Looking good. Looking good. Getting there. Mm -hmm. I want to cook over there, runner, man. Mm -hmm. You can borrow it shortly. I'm not using it again right now. Ready for the grill and the pan. That look Ready, good. Man. Smell good, look good. Can't wait to taste it because I'm sure it's going to taste good. Wow. Come back here. Yeah, go. Not going anywhere. Mm -hmm. Girl, man, why is the Paloma and White Wing so beloved? Because, yes, they're not as big. I know a lot of shooters don't want to shoot the Paloma and White Wing because they say, oh, they're too small. Mm -hmm. But let me tell you something. It's all about the taste. Yeah, ball pit. Most of the ball pit we shoot on the north coast eat a berry we call burnwood that make them bitter. And it's not everybody like the bitter bird. But yes, when you get the paloma and the white wing, oh lord, sweet. succulent, sweet man, melt in your mouth. And more tender. Yeah, a lot more tender. Very tasty. Your family gets a bad. You and your people. That's why I'm going to hold on. Walk with this. But send back some. Send back some money with the container for me. And I will work at one or two. See if it's. <laughs> so who are the chef? How are the cook? It is a combination. Combination. <laughs> Raisin Tudi. <laughs> chef Raisin, Chef Tudi. Hey, come here, my friend. All right.
Reza, yes, how are you going now? What's up, bro? How are you doing? Yeah, like some saltfish choker right over here. Saltfish choker, so yeah, the saltfish roast already? Yeah, we're roasting the saltfish right and, now. And then you have to go scrape what? it and thing. Yeah, I'll scrape it. Fire, fire, fire. Neil, what's going on over here? Come on, bro. Been good? Fine up, Neil, good. Okay. What you cooking? So, I don't, I'm just creating a, <laughs> a little fire for a possible stove. A fire oven. starter. <laughs> Uh, we're going to it off of the water yeah, and then scrape it. Yeah, man. Oh, who then? Who then? Who Who get it? Same thing. That seasoning smell is just spectacular once you open up the grill and smell that and you see it getting a little char parts on it that's going to have that exceptional flavor along with the bird and the chicken that just went on smell is amazing I like them rare you know but some people all to the make it crisp I would like a medium rare oh, you ever make white wing crisp? I don't have no fire paper on it. I have nothing like that, you know. We don't carry that here, John, because it is. I will not make you walk with this over there and come back, but you know, Strati have to get a sample taste. I have to get a sample taste. Ah, that you talk about from early. You know that. <laughs> no, man, Strati always have a sample the thing. I told you, man, you know, my son not here to cook today, so I have to cook with him. You find the seasoning, you find the seasoning, mm -hmm. they find the box seat in the box. Sampler. Well, I'm checking with white wings first. Yeah, oh, this could be a pita. By the flavor, it could be a pita. Is there a connoisseur? Can I'm checking something here. I'm going to check the muscle tone on the leg. Oh, it's a white ring. <laughs> I got it. Hi. <laughs> Okay, that's two stars that you know. Leave me alone. I like to be, I want to be just start slide them all. Just slide them. Just slide them. Yeah, that's okay. So remember, send me the one internet. Yeah, we'll do it properly. That's why I like to do it. Now, feedback from primary school. Meet already. Meet already, maybe. When it's too hot, you put it on your leg. Cool it. Leg cooling. Hey, this is a camera manager. You feel it in everything. Everything. Drop the camera. Drop the camera. Drop the camera. Tell them how it is. So it works. Tell them how it is. See them soon. So, this is a grilled bird. The grilled white wing or paloma. This is a grilled bird. The grilled white wing or paloma. Tender, soft, and it's a, just like a treasure. Oh, not with no. Mm. Very tender, seasoned, well seasoned. I'm getting pepper on it. Of course, you have to have that spicy, so I'm shake that pepper on 
put it through the ring and make sure said have the spice but this this is a pimento liqueur this is a pimento one piece of bone in my throat a pimento liqueur liqueur made by uncle strati and this with this this with this because i usually cook sometimes when i stew my bird give it a little secret i usually put a little pimento liqueur in it oh man that is so exceptional that pimento liqueur i would definitely use it to cook some of these birds with and just really just all around good tasting mm, look how thin now like fall off the bone thin now it really is i don't know how i can explain the flavor to you the flavor is just subs the leg just breaks right off mm. and the crunch the crunch from the grill mm. wow mm. <laughs> You're doing a video? Come in this boy. What, what you're talking? What that you have right there? I have a fresh piece of bird. I have one right here. Yeah, see that? Bird thing. Yeah, man. You're going to try it on the video and tell me how it tastes. Or it's too hot. It's hot. It's very hot. Yes, fresh off for the grill. I'm letting it cool. You know what? It's wicked. What? When you try it with the pimento. Stop it this minute. Yeah, man. Oh, I hey. usually stew mine with liquor like that. Mm -mm. But with that? Well, I need to get me a cup. I feel like I want to dip it in the bottom and I'll spoil my liquor. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'll be back. I'll see you soon. I'm just going to finish this. Because I like to save the breast for last. And the meat is not gamey at all. It's nothing like chicken. It's just bird. That flavor is just exceptional. I think because I've grown up on it, it's so hard to explain because I've just known it, this flavor to be bird. And I haven't come across anything that compares to it. Mm. That is what you call finger licking good. Woo! Yeah, so you know, no sun, so you put it in the ash for scrape it. Yeah, dirt. So that all of the slime and thing come off. Yeah. Omar. Yeah, so. No sun, we're on the riverside, so there's ash, and just putting it in there allow the slime. That's the slime that would be on it. It'd be very mucusy, and that's what he's taking off of it right now. It's like a membrane. Oh, the river area is not. <laughs> They might cheer and live right now. Cheers, man. Cheers, Pittsburgh. What are you using a bitch? You got. You see what they might catch, man. I'm going to eat this more some for this facility. We have hungry already. We have them thinking about. Congre nice, nice bad. Oh, you know you kill it, guy. Kill it, guy. What make you tell, guy? Oh, the congre, congre. Yes, I'm going to get this here, guy. Congre, get one already. First, let me get off my phone. What, congre? Yeah. Nice size congre, that. Let me get him in the airport. I call him because I'm not know. He's a lovely man. He's a cool little man. He's a cool little man. Remember that. What's cooking over here? I'll catch you a bit. I'll catch a bit of fish, Daniel. Yeah, he. 
Yes. Put him within this. Yeah, yeah. You're yeah, almost yeah. ready. close the thing and just yeah. roll it. But I see the one next to the one the one that is close. You're close on season, Pony. You're burning. You're burning. No, that's what next step. Oh, no, I'm not going to make it today. No, 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 I can't do it for you. Yeah, put that, Sorry, put that the other side. Mm. But this have the juice, nice. man. Fresh mm. and nice. Take out this. Take out this. Hold on, hold on, hold on, bro. Hold on, hold on. 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 No, 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 like that. You know, me, so no, I want piece of the eel. Yeah, I want piece of the eel too. But I have to mm -mm. mm -hmm. the crack, man. Come on, you're ready for the set. No, man, no. take. Right, in the boat, man. Man. Catch at a band back and this is snook, river snook. I also find them in fresh water as well, but fresh right out of the river, straight onto the grill like this season. Mm. That char. Middle mm. corn. And through the bone. The meat is tender, it's soft, and like the season, but beautiful flavor. Whoa! Mm -hmm. Watch out for them bones. Mm. Not the char, this is the tail, and that. And this side is a lot more meat as well. Wow. Matthew, what you eating? Hmm? You know one piece of fish. Exceptional flavor. I like that it's lightly seasoned because it's fresh fish. No need to over season it. It really does add a little maggi. Maggi fish season or all purpose season, nothing fish here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. River snook. This is Chloe's fried bird. I saw going into the fryer. Start with the neck as usual for me. Have some sweetness to it. Almost like that char soup bird. Or hoisting sauce. That was on it before. Fried perfectly. You don't want to do it until it's too dry. You want it so it still has that juicy flavor. And you can get the actual flavor of the bird. So we're about to some things. We drop it in the pot. Stush drop. But the bird came out exceptional. And the belly. So, now this part. This part is lightly cooked. So you still have the juice in there. And this part is what you use. And get the char and get that crunch. And char and get the crunch. Uh, well, can't waste any of the meat. Mm. Enough flavor for 
Really exceptional, wild well cooking. You put butter on it? Butter? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, man, for sure. For sure. I, I walked to the butter house from Bird. Mm. Yeah, man, I had a, had a whole heap. Are you ready yet, Uncle Roman? I think some beef is ready. I think so too. Oi! Put this make it cool up. Yes, sir. Right. How are you? Raman, hmm? Ron Ashan mm. doesn't look like he's not touch yet. River eel, it. hot, fresh off for the fire. But this is river eel, fresh off for the fire. We've had Janga, we've had eel before, but never had river eel. It's extremely tender. Mmm, that means it's sweet. Very similar to the texture of a sea eel. Bony, a lot of bone. Look very tender. Oh, Halloween and then, yeah. Hot. Woo! You see steam coming out for this. Wow. Mm. Both drop it. Very fine bones, you have to be careful while eating it. But I guess because it's that fresh, literally straight from the river, seasoned, and then put on the grill. Bono, this is a real bone finger. Mm. Very nice. Very tender. And that's the bones. You have to be careful of that bone. Very bony. And very fine bones. Finger looking good though. The oil that comes out of it during that cooking process because it's on that hot fire, that grill, the charcoal flavor, the smoke, everything just infuses it. And it's really good flavor, really fresh, clean meat. So the Palomas are small and one of the reasons why they're so beloved is because they're tender and when you clip off the wing, crunch it. But at the same time, similar to dim sum, similar to sushi, you can just one bite and that's all it is. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm. Mm. This one is like it's a salt and pepper mm. and a perfect kind of fresh bird. I'm going to eat my mouth full but this make Johnny don't taste some. I have more bird to put on. Very good. Any of you here what Omar just said? This one? Alright so we don't just eat any or any chicken. This chicken now we buy them as chicks. And we give them to Razor and him grow them. But so he raises them. Yeah. And feeds them. Yeah, so we know everything them eat. We know organic. where they come from. You know get better than that. And then from there you guys cook them. Yeah. And look at that. Bro. So they say I get uh, everything today. Good old chicken. Wow. Done the right way. It it I thought it was a bird. It looked like bird. But Wow, that meat is completely different than I would say average chicken meat that you'd get in the supermarket. It's more rich with flavor. It really is. And this is how chicken is supposed to taste. This is the one that was in the pressure cooker Yeah. So it's double cooked, light pressure on it, it's still tender, and then on the grill. Nah, drop no catch. We got hot around here. But warm. Flavor is stupendous. And then pull out some curry goat and roast bread fruit so you know how to sap it up and get some of the gravy from the curry goat. The entire thing mm. street can't come out. Wow. Look at that. Oh. Oh. Look at that. 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 Look at that
Watch your 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 now riverside when there is no fuck for your curry goat or anything like that or your bread fruit you have to get one of these this is the makeshift fork knife whatever you want to do it's a piece of bamboo and it works really well even ginger is in there so we know say good fix up the meat oh there's a scallion on some of this and you just pick it up and you're good to go mm. wow where is there's no one from curry goat <laughs> really, really. <laughs> Superb curry. Westman. Westman, no, for cook curry. Mm. These ball plates are huge. Watch your one, you know. Yeah, you pick him up. Hello? Hello, you guys. You know it when get slapped. No, no. Hey, hey. Take your bomb out of your Gary. Hey, hey, hey. Gary. Nice huge ball pits that we have going on here. <laughs> overgrown ball pits. Yeah, so the line for these overgrown ball pits. <laughs> corn fed, corn fed. Watch your oil, man. Oh. Corn fed. Talk to me about it and I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> wow. wow. Look at hot, 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 hot. Hot, hot, hot. Shake the hand on me. I'll burn up the hand. This is the special bar here. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's one of the best tasting birds I've ever had. Hands down, one of the best tasting birds I've ever had. My grandma said it earlier, there's a reason why a lot of people don't like bark plate. It's because it has a little bitter taste from the burn wood that it eats. This one has it, it's an acquired taste. It's something like Campari or Alo to me. I don't like Campari and I don't like the bitter taste of Alo. But this flavor with this bird and the taste of it, absolutely superb, spectacular. One of the best birds I've ever had, hands on. So the reason why the ball pits are bitter is because they eat sweet wood. And that sweet wood gives it that bitter flavor. A lot of people don't like that bitter flavor. To me, it's similar to like Campari and even Alo, that bitter taste. But it really does have a different flavor, that bird it's not gamey, it's not what you would think about something wild, it tastes just natural, just clean and the fat in there, not even fat, the oil that secretes from it just adds to the flavor when it cook on the grill Natural plate Natural plate for the bar plate Nothing in there so you just have scrapers. Yeah. 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 man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yo. What's that, Uncle Raman? That gizzards, like some gizzards and hearts. Gizzards, hearts, and livers. Yeah. Yeah. This is a power food. 
You can separate the weak hearts from the lion hearts right there. Right there. All who look on this and Ben Belly turn it. Yeah, we can't do nothing about that. This Sorry. is the hunter's feast right here. That is the bird hearts and gizzards that they've plucked while cleaning the bird that is just seasoning up putting a layer of seasoning on them and usually they would just do a little stir fry pretty much add a little oil season that oil a little bit and just lightly cook them and then indulge in it it is a delicacy to say the least and it's something that real hunters the organic hunters if this back to times with even Aborigines or, or original hunters of the earth that they would taste either the blood or piece of the meat itself Some people in Africa tribes as well still eat the heart of a, anything they kill It is to become one with the animal and basically have it be a part of you So you're not really killing for sport, you're killing for food You're not really hunting for sport, you're hunting for food Don't worry, everything I'm going one time. Add some green pepper. Yeah, room. Hold on, I want some green too. Belly for heat, green for flavor. Heart and the gizzards. Yes. Look like you want to suck a seat. Anyway, thanks for a lovely day. Thanks for Thank coming and being a part, Johnny. What do you mean? These are the hearts.
Tell me about it. Let it taste. Yes, I know what is about the liver. It's good. 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 <laughs> yeah, you want the drilling. I said, I need to make him this. And then you will let it look that it is enough. I know what you need to do. Cow liver and goat liver are very common in Jamaican cuisine, especially for breakfast. Me personally, not a fan of either. I'm not a fan of organs, but I must say, the saute, the cook, the vegetables, the spices, the onion, the garlic, everything that went into this was superb. The heart was very rich with flavor. The liver tasted like liver. Let's just get that straight. And the gizzard was a bit chewy but had great flavor and great texture as well. We ran into some audio problems, but this is a bird heart paired with green pepper on none other than a bamboo skewer, which we picked from the tree. It tasted lovely. The heart was very rich, very flavorful, and I quite enjoyed it. Someone that's not a fan of organs, it really changed the game. We had a great 2023 bird bush season, filled with fun, filled with laughs, and filled with the joy of camaraderie. Thank you to Uncle Ramon, Uncle Strati, the entire Birdbush team for making it happen. Grimlord, big up. And thank you for watching. Until next time, stay safe, one love, bless up.